What is going on YouTube? Vela here for the Da Vinci Spotlight. Da Vinci's art, I absolutely adore if you didn't get the reference. This is totally what I think about Mega Man X. Da Vinci's first skill is Chain Punch, 540% AoE. The knockback range is one thing that makes the skill really, really great. So you can sweep enemies together, and as you do that, you can set up the line for another follow-up CC. Good example is Edward. So chain punch the front tanks and melee into the back line, and then hit them with something like a, a bold strike from Edward. It's a really, really nice displacement skill, and it's also uh, fairly cost-effective. Chain Punch also has a one mana refund once you do awaken the skill. It's really, really nice when you have two energy and say you just need one more mana to use that CC effect or something. So the animation for Chain Punch actually is not a stun. It is just simply a knockback only. So it's not going to interrupt anything from casting its skill. However, the animation does have a little bit of strategy or exploitability to it. When you are just far enough away and the skill lights up, you can hit that. The screen will go black. She waddles up a little bit, as you can see here, and then she casts a skill. This ability has a low natural cooldown of only 15 seconds, which is actually pretty great. And not to mention it has a really cute animation. Hot Missile is her second ability. It has a total of 66 armor penetration when awakened, total. And this ability hits all enemies on screen, not just a few, four times. It is an amazing tank busting skill, and it's great for just clearing the screen. Da Vinci is unique in this because there are no other melee based classes that give you an AoE nuke that's going to hit everything on screen. For gear, I personally have ran a Rage 4 set with a 2 set of either Swiftness or Activation. She doesn't benefit as much from penetration as some other characters might because she has a lot of natural penetration made into her second skill. Another real possibility is to gear her with a cooldown reduction 4 set. Cooldown reduction is great on just about anybody. In this case, she does have kind of high costs and that helps keep those costs down. I recommend you use Da Vinci with a burst mindset. Pair her with something like a Piet, maybe a Roxley, something that is going to help amplify your damage for that AoE effect, for both of her AoE effects. If you can get several enemies together in a very tight cluster, you can chain punch and then hot missile immediately after and, and clear the way very fast. This is what you want to do. For PvP, she is really an amazing counter to Abel. Abel is that little annoying crappy hero everybody hates seeing in Siege or maybe Arena. You just can't kill her. She regenerates for something ridiculous. Well, Da Vinci is your answer. She's naturally a blue type, and she has a ton of burst. So think of her in that way. She is good in PvP as well. So let's talk about Da Vinci's leader effects. Her leader effects are some of the best in the game. Her first three are nothing to write home about. They're pretty self-explanatory. But her fourth one is amazing. 20% cooldown reduction is really, really good, and cooldown reduction on just about any hero is also really good. There are specific guild boss strategies that are calling for a Da Vinci leader. That leader effect you're going to use, you're going to love it, it's extremely versatile, it's one of the best in the game right now. Even on a guild boss where Da Vinci would do nothing but just melee the entire time, it's very hard to get another 20% CDR pushed into your team. But wait, there's more! Her fifth skill is also really good as well. Whenever you start a wave, you get another additional one energy, and when you clear a wave, you also get another one energy. I'm not sure if this is a bug, but hey, let's not say anything. So when you first start any wave, you get three energy, one mana extremely useful. So if you have a lot of Soul Kings, you don't know which one to use as a leader skill, you don't know which one to invest in, Da Vinci's awesome. She can basically be your leader forever and you're not going to look stupid.
So my verdict for Da Vinci is four and a half stars out of five. There's nothing game-breaking or overpowered about Da Vinci, but she's extremely solid in just about any team comp, and she's an amazing pick for anybody that is looking at a three-star sulking. They're wondering, hey, what's a good investment? What's a good short-term investment? What's a good long-term investment? What's a hero I'm going to use for a very long time and that I'm not going to regret putting skill-ups or putting limit breaks onto? Da Vinci's a great pick, guys. Max her out. She's a really, really good hero. I think Da Vinci's only real drawback is her costs. They're a little bit prohibitive to spam constantly, but that's okay. She's a great pick overall. Everybody should have one. You're looking to do in-game eventually. Somebody's gonna probably tell you to get one eventually. So go ahead and start working on her. You won't regret it later.